Yo, 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 what's going on? Another day, another BTS vlog. Currently doing some gear prep right now. Going to go film a dance recital, which is something I'm not used to doing. It's some, not my standard, typical kind of work client, but the money was pretty damn straight, so I can't be mad at it. So I said, heck, what the hell, let's do it. Anyways, doing a little bit of gear prep right now, and just wanna talk about a little bit about my new laptop that I just purchased, which is the M3 chip max uh 14 inch macbook pro this is the uh the space black which is not really too black it's, it's more like dark gray but uh it's still pretty dope though this is my actually first ever um apple computer uh so i usually have this windows tower right there as you can probably see right there so yeah uh, transitioning to the apple system has been pretty uh pretty damn good um fairly seamless for the most part uh fairly easy and uh Currently loving this machine. It does cost an arm and a leg. I do talk a little bit more about it on my actual podcast. So if you guys are watching this and you guys didn't know, I do have a podcast in the same channel. Hit the podcast tab and you could also uh, catch it on like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. So I do talk a little bit more about this and why I got this uh, MacBook Pro over the 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro. One thing that I love uh, about this MacBook Pro though, um, as far as like the size goes, I could actually have this fit into this little compartment area of the bag uh, where it's meant to have like iPads, laptops, all that good stuff. Uh, my previous laptop, which is a 16 inch Dell Inspiron um, gaming laptop, I wasn't able to make it fit in here because it's so big and bulky. But now it's all about the little things. I could actually have it fit in here. Do that, secure that, secure that, close it and boom, voila, I have all my gear here which is amazing but yeah uh catch you guys on the field so how i got this job was through a referral from a colleague of mine pretty dope that he was able to drop my name since he wasn't available for this production so the client hit me up and they wanted something extremely simple just a wide camera angle from beginning to end of the whole entire recital and i was able to sell them on a two camera package and then from there i decided to just use a third camera just to spice things up a little bit based on the example that they showed me it looked a little dull to me so i wanted to raise the production value and I'm glad I did because uh, they were extremely happy having that third camera angle and just changing things up for them. And so they were extremely stoked for that. And so, yeah, I'm glad that it worked out. All right, it's almost showtime. Got the FX3 ready to rock. Got my A7S ready to rock. A74 is upstairs. H6 recorder is plugged into their sound system. And yeah, should be fairly easy. All right, so we're currently on an intermission right now for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and swap batteries on the A74. And I decided to just go handheld on this because the gimbal, I love using the gimbal, but for something like this, I'm only allowed to walk on the edge of the stage. So I, I can go through the middle, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want to be in people's way. Because I mean, these parents are here to see their kids. So I don't want to be a distraction. So. For the most part, I'm pretty much going on the edge and just kind of like using it as a lock mode slash tripod mode, I guess. So I think at this point, the gimbal is pretty useless. It can't get as dynamic as I want it to. So decided to just go handheld, rig it up a little bit since we got some time and uh, just keep it more easy, keep it more simple and less weight on my end to uh, walk around with. So everything is uh, going pretty smooth so far. So we are at shoot number two for the nights. I'll explain a little bit more about it in a second, but I'm currently dumping all the files from the dance recital and I'm extremely impressed how fast the MacBook Pro was able to download all three SD cards, like lightning fast. Just had some dinner at the casino. Uh, now we're getting to rock in about a few minutes actually. Currently, I'm gonna stick with the A7S III uh, 17 to 28 mil. Uh, Jordan's gonna take the FX3 on the Tamron 70 to 180 2.8, and he also has his audio plugged in. He's actually turning that on right now over there with the DJ. There he is right there. And then he's also gonna be on a monopod with the A74. Not exactly sure what lens, but we have four hours here to uh, get some footage for the band so we have a lot to a lot of time to work with as far as like changing lenses and changing 
uh, shooting techniques and whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be fairly simple. Gonna be a long night, but easy work at the same time. So I was able to contract my buddy Jordan um, a few days prior to the actual dance recital. And then the night before our actual shoot date, he actually hit me up and said, hey dude, I actually have another shoot that same evening if you're available to help me out too. And so I said, hey man, why not? It's pretty much like 20 minutes apart from as far as the dance location to the casino. So uh, we were able to make it happen. And um, yeah, the band pretty much contract him very last second to just get some epic B-roll of their whole uh, band, I guess. I mean, look at all the production and they wanted to highlight that for sure for their, for their band reel. So that's what Jordan is working on right now. And so, yeah, it was pretty easy to do this. We had four hours, like I said, to get as much shots as we can. And uh, yeah, just able to toy around and experiment with movements and lenses and just play around and have fun with this uh, production since there was really no, not too much pressure since uh, we had three different camera angles. And he pretty much asked me to get as creative as possible, use the gimbal, go handheld if you want. And you see me right here on the gimbal on the stage, which is a pretty cool feeling to be there with them. And uh, the band was enjoying being in front of the camera, which was really cool. I love when talents are super into the camera and just give you what you need. This was easily my favorite shot of the entire night, just playing with my flare filter from Prism Lens. I'll have that link in the description. And uh, yeah, I don't use this flare filter every time, but when I do, it is a gem. So it's currently the next day and decided to just edit this bad boy up and uh, really test out the MacBook Pro. And I'm currently exporting an hour and five minute sequence and it is freaking ripping it right now six minutes to uh, export this entire hour plus sequence which is uh three 4k video files plus an h6 recorder on a 1080 timeline and it's going pretty damn quick uh multi-cam sequence uh did all that bad boy and uh even on my big tower which is like 32 gigabytes of ram um, that thing would struggle on any kind of multi-cam sequence uh, for like the podcast stuff that I do. Even if it's a 1080 file, like it was just still struggle. And this thing is ripping through it. I am extremely impressed with the 14 inch uh, M3 Max MacBook Pro. Uh, like I said, 36 gigabytes of RAM, uh, one terabyte SSD. I'm not running off an external, I'm just running on the internal SSD. Um, and so uh, I'm trying to figure out a way of how to work out work out like the filing systems and whatnot since I'm so new to the Apple system, but extremely impressed. Um, I pretty much sat on the couch to watch NFL Sunday football the entire time and just had it on my lap and just edit this whole thing uh, within like 90 minutes, I wanna say. Uh, the video, the uh, battery was probably around 50%, currently at 11%, so I'm gonna put it to charge right now as it's exporting. Uh, but like I said, it's, it feels great to just sit down and watch the game and not feel like work work because every time i get to the computer tower i feel like i'm on my office like ready to work and whatnot so uh extremely impressed <laughs> i think i said that many times at this point but um if you guys are anything um if you guys have a comment or any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to get to them and uh catch you guys in the next one peace